Praise the Lord, children of the Most High. Cavalry greetings to you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to listen to this message by Pastor Joshua Sema. As you listen, encourage yourself in the Lord. And whatever situation you are passing through, God is there with you. And God will see you through in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. When life is giving you a scar, respect it. It is why a crown will be put on your head. Please, I, I'm encouraging you so that you, you don't allow this, this ugly thing that people bring around as though believers cannot be challenged, things cannot go wrong, and while you are in the process of training, you, you make it look like, no, if it means to cry, don't be ashamed. Let the tears come. Don't cover it. One of the most powerful places in the Bible is and Jesus wept. Why will Jesus cry? And the word wept. And light wept. And resurrection wept. You may be going through it now. Please listen to me. Dear powerful man of God and powerful prophet and apostle in the making. And pastor and teacher yes it's true you've not understood everything now yes my dear sister it is true that that prophetic grace is not yet speaking but be patient with god it is true that he called you to be a kingdom financier and as it is now you have not yet gotten it don't be patient your prayer life is not yet strong don't worry when he is done with you then you will see what you will become Today you will teach and there is no revelation, there is no rema. You are teaching and people are sleeping and saying, round up. Don't worry. Be patient. While you are standing, there is sickness. And you are quoting scripture by his stripes I am healed. And the sickness refuses to go. And the world will usually look. You see, the world, when they see our scars, ah, you have a scar too. And you are tempted to cover it. Leave it with honor. My brothers and my sisters, let them be witnesses of the scars. Because when God lifts you, they are the ones who will tell people, uh -uh, I know when this man was crying. I know when this sister was crying. You are a man of God now. Only three members. Only four members. Don't go and collect any charm or any power. Stay there. Pray like a fool. Fast like a fool. Study. Just stay. Tell your wife one day things will be alright. You are married. And you and your wife, it looks like there's no food to eat. It looks like there is nothing there. You are a young man. You are just gotten married and even you, you are embarrassed now. Be patient with God. My soul, wait thou upon the Lord. Only liars will tell you they were made from birth. Everybody goes through seasons. There are certain cups you don't pray them away. There is no amount of fasting that will take them away. You are given the grace to pass through them. Please hear what I'm telling you. We are going to pray. I apologize for taking a few minutes. But I just, I just felt in my heart. We, we need to let believers know it is not unusual. Listen. On Friday's miracle service, I'm committed by the grace of God to seeing that you rise. But can I tell you something? Please, don't be ashamed of your scars. Carry the cross with pride to Golgotha, knowing that there is a coronation waiting for you. It is true that Jesus died, but he only died for three days. Don't be ashamed of death. If it means you cry and cry, I know you don't have your house rent. Please don't act as if the whole world will hit you. Don't worry. You are still learning the principles of finances. I know as you are sitting here now, we will share the grace and you are going to go home and there's no food to eat. Let me tell you, stand with your cup of water with tears coming down from your eyes and say, I know that I will feed nations. The word of God still stands true. Let God be true and let every man a liar. I want to encourage you my life is a testimony when you pass through with God the end is glory please don't be ashamed to cry and let me tell you something koinonia if you are part of this spiritual family let me tell you you bring a curse upon yourself if you laugh at anybody going through a furnace of affliction to growth if you find out 
that this dear sister she was bereaved or something don't turn and say ah where is your faith no my sister we are here we are here everything will be all right be the shoulder for people when someone is saying did god really call me no i'm a witness you are a prophet where is the prophecy in your future keep growing keep growing every day you are praying like a fool and nothing is coming you stand and you watch men of god dispense the truth and you say when will my turn come and god says be patient there is an honor allocated for you already apostle i've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb what have i not done i've sown a seed i know it's painful i cannot imagine what you are going through but the only thing i can tell you is there is speed in waiting stay in the one room don't kill yourself trying to get a bungalow you will give away houses conquer the pressure of proving that you are successful conquer it if all you have is one thousand naira go to the market my brothers and my sisters hear me go and buy whatever you can afford wear it with honor and say lord i thank you if it's only one shoe you wear for one year it takes a fool to laugh at you anybody that knows god knows that these things we see are temporal don't stand and watch somebody and go and put yourself under pressure i must show that things are working no you don't have a car now be patient while you are trekking home in the night say lord if they obey and serve me witness my service oh god while i'm serving you i'm trekking with honor and the day god blesses you you will be the one to shut the mouth hallelujah let us pray psalm 62 verse 1 and 2 which says truly my soul waited upon god from him cometh my salvation he only is my rock and my salvation he is my defense i shall not be greatly moved god almighty we send us help from a sanctuary in the mighty name of jesus you are going to pray and say lord i receive power to move forward by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Almighty, we receive power to move forward, to go higher in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help me to break out of every obstacle on my way to progress in the mighty name of Jesus. God is our rock, is our defense. I may God Almighty defend us on every side in the mighty name of jesus may the grace and the mercies of god speak for us right now in the mighty name of jesus and whatever situation that you are going through may the power of god almighty come upon you to break out of all those powers to break out of all those obstacles to break out of all those hindrances in the mighty name of jesus and May God of all impossibility turn everything in our life to be possible in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I break by the power, by the blood of Jesus Christ. I break every failure working against our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Any failure, any spirit of failure, spirit of rise and fall, I command it to be broken and destroyed out of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. May God crown your effort with success in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom.